Hello everyone, uh, it's round 9 of the Grand Chess Tour in Paris and uh, we have an interesting game between uh, Magnus Carlsen and uh, the Frenchman Etienne Bacro. Uh, Etienne uh, never actually won a game against Magnus Carlsen in uh, classical or rapid time format. Uh, he did win two games in uh, Blitz in 2012. Uh, so this is a very big game for him. It's the last game of the Rapids and the Frenchman decided to go all out. Uh, so let's see how this went. Uh, Magnus Carlsen is white and Etienne is black. e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, bishop to c5, the Italian of course, uh, castles, knight to f6, d3, uh, d6, c3, a6, a4, black castles, rook to e1, h6, h3, and now bishop to e6, uh, offering the exchange of light square bishops. And uh, here Carlson captures an e6. Uh, this uh, uh, does double black spawns, uh, but black has this nice uh, file open now for his rook, the f file, and he has this nice diagonal for his bishop, uh, i in the f2 pawn. Uh, but Magnus Carlson doesn't mind playing this as uh, We've seen in the game uh, Carlsen Karyakin, the famous 10th game of the World Championship match, uh, where he really showed uh, how to play against these two double pawns. Uh, although Sergei did uh, miss a, a threefold repetition draw, uh, but uh, after that Magnus really uh, played a masterclass. So we have b4 expanding on the queen side, bishop to a7, preserving this nice bishop, knight to d2. Uh, knight to e7, knight to f1, and now knight to g6. Uh, rook to a2, this is a very nice uh, computer move, uh, because uh, it will prove very uh, helpful in defending this f2 pawn in the future. Uh, knight to h5, really going for that f4 square. And uh, here Carlsen offers the exchange of uh, the bishops, as uh, it's getting pretty uncomfortable here. Uh, Etienne captures an e3, uh, rook uh, takes an e3, and now knight to f4, and this is a very nice outpost for the knight. Uh, but Carlsen has a plan, uh, he will try to kick it out. Uh, d4, queen to f6, and uh, this is uh, where Carlsen's plan comes into motion. Uh, king to h2, he plays king to h2 and is uh, preparing g3 to kick the knight. And uh, this is uh, where Etienne also uh, tries to mix it up. He plays e takes d4, c takes d4, and now e5. Uh, with a plan that uh, if Carson plays g3, he will go uh, for the maneuver knight to e6 and then knight to g5. And then try to infiltrate uh, from that square. Uh, but here Carson plays uh, d5 and he takes away the e6, knight for, uh, e6 square for black's knight. And the only move here uh, that will allow black to continue this game with is c6 and Etienne finds it, he plays pawn to c6. Uh, Carlsen plays g3, kicking the knight, and uh, this is the whole point of the c6 move. Etienne takes c takes on d5, and uh, he gives up a knight. And uh, there really isn't uh, any other good move than uh, actually capturing the knight, so Carlsen does. He captures the knight, g takes on f4. And now d4, kicking the rook, and also preparing to capture on f4. And uh, the rook can go to d3, he can go to e2, uh, but Carlsen plays rook to a3. And although this seems a bit weird, you know, doubling rooks uh, on a closed file, uh, this is actually a very nice move, uh, and you'll see why in the next move. Uh, Etienne captures on f4. And uh, Carlsen plays a uh, knight to e1. And here Carlsen saw that uh, uh, he had to protect his other rook on a2 here. Uh, because if he didn't, uh, Etienne would now have this very nice move queen to e6. Uh, threatening h2 here and uh, h3 here and uh, the rook on a2. So this rook to a3 move is, uh, seems to be very helpful. Uh, and here Etienne plays this d5 thrust. And this was actually the mistake. Uh, Black is Black is okay here. He he, he might be even better, uh, but he has to play something like uh, Queen to E6 or 
uh, maybe even a rook to f7 and uh, bringing the other rook uh, to the f file uh, slowly pushing this and uh, you don't uh, beat the world champion by uh, you know collapsing under pressure and pushing d5 in a critical position like this uh, so here Carlson plays knight to g3 and now this d5 move isn't really doing anything. If he captures, the uh, Carlsen will capture with the knight on d4 and uh, his position is excellent. Uh, ATM plays rook a to c8 and Carlsen plays knight to g2 uh, offering the exchange of knights. King to h8 and now queen to g4. And here already we see that uh, black really has no compensation compensation for the piece. He, he does have the two pawns but uh, it won't prove to be very useful. Etienne pushes d3, uh, knight captures on f4, uh, e captures on f4, and now knight to h5, attacking the queen and also eyeing that g7 square. If the queen moves anywhere from the dark diagonal, it will be checkmate on g7. So Etienne has to play queen to g5, and Carlsen captures now. Rook takes on d3, uh, d takes on e4, and now rook to d6. And uh, here at the end has to take the queen, queen takes on g4, h takes on g4. And uh, now, uh, although black has two pawns for the piece, uh, his position is uh, very bad. Uh, he plays rook to f7, uh, rook to e6, rook to f8, preparing to push the pawns. Carlsen plays rook to d2, king to h7, and now rook to d6. Uh, this. Uh, is a, also a very important move as it prevents uh, black from ever pushing the g-pawn. Uh, we have e3 from Etienne, f takes e3, and now he pushes f3. And uh, here Carlsen just plays knight to f4 and this is all over. Uh, the king will come and pick up the f-pawn and uh, like we said that rook to d6 move was uh, very important as black can't really afford to play g5 to kick the knight. Uh, if he tries something like this it will be over very soon with a nice checkmate like this so there isn't any move to play for Etienne and so Etienne resigns here uh, he did uh, try to play a game of his life and uh, he played a very nice sacrifice but in a position where he had to take the more subtle approach and uh, play it a bit more slowly he he pushed uh, to open up the center and uh, you don't beat Magnus Carlsen with moves like that. So yeah, that's the game. Uh, this was round 9 and uh, let's see the standings after round 9. So we have uh, Magnus Carlsen in first place with 14 points. Uh, next place is Alexander Grischuk with 13 points and uh, third place is Hikaru Nakamura with uh, the rest of the field to follow. So, uh, we have two more days uh, of chess in Paris. Uh, we have nine rounds today uh, of Blitz, uh, five minutes plus two seconds increment, and also nine rounds tomorrow, uh, also five minutes plus two seconds increment. Uh, so, the players will be playing each other uh, uh, all against all uh, today and all against all tomorrow. So, what do you think? Uh, will Magnus Carlsen prove his dominance in the Blitz section as well? Or maybe Alexander Grischuk, the three times the world champion in Blitz, will have something to say about that. Or maybe last year's defending champion, Hikaru Nakamura. Or uh, maybe, maybe you have uh, another favorite who isn't currently in the lead. So yeah, uh, that's uh, the game. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, I look forward to reading your comments. See you soon.